What's up guys, Technobo here for Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using Morph. If you've played any Minecraft Forge mod packs, then you may be familiar with a morphing plugin. When you destroy a mob, you gain the ability to turn into it and gain its abilities. That's what inspired this plugin. To install a plugin, head over to the plugin section, select the Spigot tab and search for Morph. Install a version that's compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you could download it from the Spigot page and upload it to your Server Pro panel. Keep in mind that this plugin also requires the correct versions of Libs Disguises and Protocol Lib to work properly. You can see what plugins you already have installed by going to the Install tab under Plugins. Before we get into anything, if you're not op, you won't be able to use this plugin without the morph.morph permission. And of course, if you're op, you'll have all of the mobs available immediately. I've given myself the morph.morph permission so I can use slash morph. This is the plugin's main command. It brings up this UI that lets you turn into any animal or mob that you've killed. To get new morphs, all you need to do is kill a new mob. I'll just quickly get a mob here, and once I have, you'll see a message in the chat. When we do slash morph, we'll notice a new mob that we can morph into. Click on it and we become that creature. It's a bit difficult to see, so you may want to go third person, but we can hide mobs in the configuration later. To change back to our normal selves, we just need to do slash morph and click on our head, or type slash unmorph. We can also use slash add morph and slash del morph to add and remove morphs without having to kill mobs. If you can't remember these commands, use slash morph space help to bring up this list of commands and info. This plugin isn't only visual, if we morph into a special mob, like a blaze with slash morph space blaze, you can see that we gain the ability of temporary flight, a bar counts down which prevents players from flying forever. Opening our inventory, we also have fire resistance 8. And of course, if you're playing on a multiplayer server, you can expect your disguises to look like actual real mobs. When you're walking around the server, you'll be entirely invisible and there will only be an animal or a mob in your place when you're fully disguised. Locate the config in the plugins folder. Inside config.yml, we have a few settings for the plugin. While most of these are self-explanatory with good explanations, we have some notable ones like enabled worlds to restrict plugin access to certain worlds, morph power, which controls how long players can fly using special mobs, view self disguise, which controls whether you see yourself as a mob or not. This helps a lot with that issue where we had to go third person to see. And the last section is the abilities configuration, controlling how long we can morph as each individual mob and lets us set a cooldown for their special abilities. Some, of course, have their own special settings, such as the giant and slime. Anyways, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.